Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I'm doing another cigar pairing, this time with the Pappy Van Winkle cigar from Drew Estates, and of course the Pappy Van Winkle 20 year old. Will cigar pair well with the whiskey? We'll find out when I nose it, taste it, smoke it, and give it a mark. All right, so this is the Pappy Van Winkle uh, barrel aged cigar coming in Toro size. Um, like I said, made by Drew Estates, so they're actually barrel aging the tobacco. Um, I doubt that they're using Pappy Van Winkle barrels for that, um, but it'd be cool if they did. Uh, I couldn't find any information disclosing that. I really doubt that they're using Pappy barrels uh, to age tobacco in, but barrel aged, bourbon barrel aged uh, tobacco nonetheless. This is my very first time trying this cigar. I haven't had it yet. Uh, we'll see how it compares to other like big uh, names in the Drew Estate line, the Liga Brigada number no. 9. That's a really good cigar. That's about the same price point. It's coming in around $15 or so US. A uh, box of 10 costs around $150. So I'll chop it up, give it a light, and see how it goes. So right on first light, uh, draws perfect. Really nice, uh, sweet, uh, earthy notes. A little bit of wood element in there. Maybe a little bit of sweetness from that barrel aged uh, tobacco. Really nice cigar so far. All right, I'm gonna get this into the uh, first third and then we'll uh, try it with some Pappy Van Winkle. All right, so just getting into the first third. I apologize for the lighting here. It's not ideal conditions to shoot outside, but please bear with me. Um, so yeah, getting into the first third of this, now getting a little bit more leather notes, black pepper, spiciness, some vanilla. Really good so far. Again, the burns nice and razor sharp, as I would expect. Uh, two different um, wrappers on this. I don't know if I can get a good shot of it. You can kind of tell, see the color difference right around the, where the wrapper, or where the band is, sorry. You'll see that there's two uh, distinct wrappers on this. Um, I'll put what they are here. Really interesting. I'm excited to hit that. Really nice band on this scar is really, really very very nice. Let's try it with some happy. So I reviewed this bottle before. You can check it out. Link in the description down below. Um, what I really like about this, you get some really interesting kind of funky notes with this pappy um, that I picked up before. But the oak between the whiskey and the cigar blending very very well. Really like that. The sweetness. So the whiskey's definitely bringing out some more sweetness in the cigar. Which I thought was kind of cool. The like leather note, you get some of that in the in the whiskey as well. A nice kind of antique store aged leather. Really, really nice. Brown sugar note in the whiskey, um, complementing the cigar very well. Yeah, it's going really great. Um, really enjoying it quite a bit. Get this end at the halfway point. Check back in, see if anything's changed. All right, so getting into the second third now. As you can see, the construction and the burn on this. Just absolutely glorious. Um, the spice notes, the sweetness from both the cigar and the whiskey complement each other very, very well. The leather aspect of both, the spiciness of both, the sweetness of both. Um, so far, just excellent back and forth. Really like the cigar. Of course, the whiskey's great. Um, I'm gonna take this thing down. We'll get into the second half of the wrapper where it changes and see if there's any difference, but as of right now, they're both uh, great, great stuff for sure. So I took the band off. Just want to kind of show you guys um, the difference between the wrappers here. I don't think focus. So you can see um, the two different wrappers and kind of where they meet. Kind of cool. I haven't smoked a cigar that's had this before. And they do it in a couple different ones. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in and see where this is at uh, when I hit that second wrapper. Cheers. All right, so into where the second wrapper is taken over. Uh, kind of made me a slight flavor profile switch. Nothing too crazy. Definitely get some more kind of like charred oak. Again, it's pairing super well with the whiskey. Um, I think, in conclusion, I would say that the cigar is very, very good. The pairing with the Pappy, obviously excellent. Um, as far as the cigar is concerned, I don't know if I would take this over the Liga Provada Number no. 9 by Drew Estate. I think I prefer that cigar just a little bit more, but absolutely great stuff with this. Burn was great, draw is great, of course. With the Pappy, yeah, it pairs very, very well with it. There's no question about that. I think, does it, you know, would a different bourbon that you really enjoy pair well with this? Absolutely it would. I don't think that the Pappy is necessarily standing out more than a different uh, bourbon, a good bourbon would. That being said, of course it pairs super, super well. Yeah, Cigar was great, Pappy obviously uh, very, very nice. Um, but yeah, I would say that take this cigar, pair with any bourbon that you like, I think you're going to get uh, uh, great results. So yeah, really good on both accounts.
Thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this cigar before. And uh, if you have a cigar pairing that you really like, leave it in the comments down below. Cheers, guys.